Bless you, Madam God. At this time, we welcome the ordained clergy, those in the pool, those sitting out. We welcome all the family and friends. And I just believe that you could not have known Woodrow Stanley for any significant amount of time and not considered him somebody special. Amen. So as is my custom, I'm so honored to stand here right now, but it's my custom. I try to help folk because everybody that comes to one of these things that may not know Jesus, they may not have been around Jesus, folk. I'm, can I help somebody? We're a peculiar people. Jesus folk are a peculiar people because even with the tear stains on our faces, with the program as printed, we will have prayer by Bishop Bernadette Jefferson, Old Testament scripture by Reverend Ernest Nye, and then New Testament scripture by Reverend Alan Overton. Come on, let the church say amen. amen. We give honor to God who is the head of our mind, to the angel of this house, to the family, to the friends. Father, in the name of Jesus, we come thanking you for your goodness and mercy. We thank you for this is the day that you have made. And we shall rejoice and be glad in it. We thank you for the honor and the privilege to celebrate the life of Woodrow Stanley. We thank you for the deposits that he's made. And God, we thank you right now that we know that we can look to you who's the heart and the finisher of our faith. That we can look to you for strength right now. You, we can look to you for where our help comes from. You're the source of our supply. And you all things are possible. And Father, we know that he's just asleep. And this is just only for a little while. But Father, we give you glory, hallelujah. We praise you today for your goodness and mercy for you all. To touch us, to leave deposits, to leave impressions, and to leave a footprint. God, we thank you. We thank you for the life and the service. Now, Father, you said if we asked anything and believe in my faith, that you would do it. So God, I ask for strength for the family. Ask for in the midnight hour, when the tears begin to flow, there ain't nobody there. You'll be there, Father. Strengthen them where they're weak. Fill up the void. Lonely nights. Lonely days. The afternoons when they look around and the physical body is not there. God, we thank you for, for that spirit of love. Thank you for the spirit of embracement. Father, we just give you glory, honor, and praise. And we're going to continue to magnify you. We're going to continue to give you all the glory and all the praise in Jesus' name. And let the church say amen. amen. Oh, come on, say it like you mean it. Amen. Amen. On behalf of the Garrison family, Paul, Chief Paul Garrison, is not able to be here. But your husband hired him as chief. He was so very close to our family, and I had the pleasure of being your pastor for seven years. So I find it not robbing of being here. So thank you for allowing me to share this scripture. It's found in Ecclesiastes. Very appropriate. Third chapter. 
And everything, there's a season. And every time, there's a purpose under heaven. A time to be born and, yes, sir, time to die. A time to plant and a time to plant up, which is planted. A time to kill and a time to heal. A time to break down and a time to build up. A time to weep and a time to laugh. A time to mourn and a time to dance. A time to cast away stones and a time to gather up the stones. A time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing. A time to get and a time to lose. A time to keep and a time to cast away. A time to rent and a time to sow. A time to be silent and a time to speak. A time to love and a time to hate. A time for war and a time for peace. What profit is he that worketh in the wherein the laborer. I have seen the travail which God has given to the sons of men to be exercised in it. He has made everything beautiful in his sight and his time, and also he has set the world in their heart, so that no man can find out the work of God made from the beginning to the end. Uh, then it concludes. Wherefore, I perceive that there is nothing better than that a man shall rejoice in his own works, for that is his portion for whom shall bring him to see what shall be after him. The word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. Amen. Amen. Our New Testament scripture, 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 13. But I would not have you to be ignorant, brethren, concerning them which are asleep, that ye sorrow not even as others which have no hope. For if we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so them also which sleep in Jesus will God bring with him. For this we say unto you by the word of the Lord, that ye which are alive and remain unto the coming of the Lord shall not prevent them which are asleep. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel and the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. So shall we ever be with the Lord, who for, wherefore, comfort one another with these words. God's word is already blessed. I pray that it blesses God's people. Stanley family, we want you to know that we're indebted to you for all that you gave to this community. May God continue to bless you, and may he strengthen you during this time of bereavement. I want to encourage you to look to the hills and we'll come with your help. Can't tell you it's going to get easier, but I can tell you God will help you get through. Somebody here know what I'm talking about. I was asked by Pastor Banks to now introduce the soloist. Sister Carrie Edwards Clemens will come down and render a solo for us. God bless you. Family, we pray for you. I can hear somebody as I pass along. If I can help somebody. With a word or song, 
If I can help somebody when they're traveling wrong, then my living shall not be in there. No, my living shall not be shall come forward on the program uh, from henceforth we invite you as you come to go to the lectern to my right and to your left we want to certainly acknowledge uh, the presence of Mayor Neely God bless you sir our other elected officials our ordained clergy and as they may be present at this time we would uh, like to call forth Carmia Lowe for a tribute and then following that we will have Jasmine McKinney and Heather Stanley with the obituary acknowledgments and resolutions. Hi. My name is Carmia Lowe and I am the granddaughter of Woodrow Stanley. Mm -hmm. And today I'll be doing a poem I wrote for him. Dad twice. The impact you had on my life, you were the male figure I could count on. Again and again, you've always been there. Every event, performance, even the pre-dinner prayer, the presence, your delicate care is what I remember. I often think about how we view life, the trials, tribulations, and continual strife you have to go through to become excellent, to leave a legacy. And thankfully, you were able to step into your destiny, showing people they were special, that they could become good, no, great, no, excellent. A heaven sent, now our guardian angel, to watch over us in this time of grief. As we hang on to the Lord, trusting in our belief, and Dadad is happy, full of joy, smiling, and lighting up heaven with his infectious grin that we were able to witness in every room he stepped in. And it wasn't just outward, it penetrated deep within and it touched every heart and soul that he would encounter. It even was present in his final hour of prayer for healing. God extending his hand out, revealing the next chapter. Dad had reaching out, trying to see what lies thereafter. But until you step in, all you can see is light. And the angels with open arms welcoming you with delight. He looks back. His family, friends loved ones look to him with fear wanting the end not to be near and the lord looks to him woodrow they will all persevere 
He then stepped into his next chapter, and we're here on earth wondering what lie they're after, and answered prayer, healing indeed. And yet with the Lord we plead, why? And the Lord says it was his time to come home. Uh -huh. And here we are attempting to comb through any logical reasoning or explanation.